Psoriatic arthritis is an inflammatory joint disease that can lead to joint damage if untreated. If you have been diagnosed with psoriatic arthritis, it is important to receive treatment early to prevent permanent joint damage. For what is psoriatic arthritis and other related information, click here. There are two major types of medications used to treat psoriatic arthritis, biologics and oral medications. In this video, we will talk about biologics for psoriatic arthritis and answer the following important questions. What are biologics and how do they work for psoriatic arthritis? What biologics are out there for psoriatic arthritis? What biologics might be the right one for you? Hello, my name is Dr. April Armstrong. I'm a board certified dermatologist and I have cared for many patients with psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis over the years. Most biologics are antibodies that work by soaking up extra inflammatory molecules in psoriatic arthritis patients. Biologics have been shown to be highly effective in preventing joint damage in psoriatic arthritis. In psoriatic arthritis, extra inflammatory molecules are present in the joints as well as in the blood. Biologics are generally more effective in treating psoriatic arthritis than some of the traditional oral agents and are generally well tolerated. A number of biologics used to treat psoriatic arthritis are also effective for psoriasis on the skin, which make them a good option for patients with both psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. Biologics are typically delivered as an injection into the skin. There are four classes of biologics, blockers to TNF, IL-17, IL-23, and T-cells. Overall, they're highly effective against psoriatic arthritis. They're also well tolerated. Side effects may occur in a small proportion of patients, such as redness around the injection site or potential infections. First, let's talk about TNF blockers. TNF blockers were the first biologics to be approved for psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. Specifically, by blocking TNF-alpha, these medications reduce the inflammation you see in the joints and blood of patients with psoriatic arthritis. Examples of TNF blockers approved for psoriatic arthritis include Imbrol, Humira, Remicade, Simzia, and Symphony. The efficacy of these biologics for psoriatic arthritis seems to be similar, with about 50 to 60% of patients seeing at least 20% improvement in joint symptoms after six months. The choice of TNF blocker depends on a number of different factors, including the drug's safety profile, injection frequency, whether the drug is taken under the skin or delivered through the vein, cost, and if the patient also has psoriasis. How often you use TNF blockers also vary. For Imbrol, the shots are given every week, and for Humira and Simzia, they're given once every two weeks. For Symphony, it's given once every four weeks, and Remicade is given through a vein every two months. For women who wish to use a biologic while pregnant or breastfeeding, Simzia is the most appropriate option because it does not cross a placenta, nor is it found in breast milk. While TNF inhibitors are effective, people are not good candidates if they have the following specific neurological conditions such as multiple sclerosis or if you have hepatitis B, in which case all of the TNF inhibitors probably should be avoided. In addition, if you have latent TB or advanced congestive heart failure, another class of biologics may be more suitable. Now let's talk about IL-17 blockers. Examples of IL-17 blockers include Cosentix or Secukinumab and TALTS or Ixacizumab. IL-17 blockers are effective against both psoriatic arthritis and psoriasis. In psoriatic arthritis, between 50 to 60% of patients treated with an IL-17 blocker typically see about 20% improvement in joint signs and symptoms after four months. IL-17 blockers are given as subcutaneous injections. For example, the injection frequency for Cosentix and TALTS is once a month. IL-17 blockers should be avoided if you have a personal history of inflammatory bowel disease, such as ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease. Now, let's talk about IL-23 blockers. Tremphia or Gasalcumab is an IL-23 blocker that treats both psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. 
after being treated with trimphia or gazalcumab for six months, 52 to 64 percent of patients with psoriatic arthritis see at least 20 percent improvement in joint signs and symptoms. Trimphia or gazalcumab is convenient with subcutaneous injection every two months. Another IL-23 blocker is Stelara or Ustekinumab. In fact, Stelara or Ustekinumab blocks both the inflammation molecule IL-23 as well as another inflammation molecule, IL-12. The benefits of Stelara mainly come from its blockade of IL-23, which blocks downstream inflammation seen in psoriatic arthritis. Stelara or Ustekinumab is effective against both psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. After being treated with Stelara for six months, 42% to 50% of psoriatic arthritis patients see at least 20% improvement in joint signs and symptoms. Stelara is convenient with only four injections per year. Next, let's talk about T-cell co-stimulation modulators. Arencia, or Abatacept, is a T-cell co-stimulation modulator that treats psoriatic arthritis. It is currently not approved for psoriasis. It works by blocking the activation of an immune cell in your body called T-cell, which is abnormally elevated in patients with psoriatic arthritis and causes inflammation. After being treated with Arencia, or Abatacept, for six months, 40% to 48% of psoriatic arthritis patients see at least 20% improvement in joint symptoms and signs. Arencia shots are given through the skin once a week, or it can be given through your veins once a month. T-cell inhibitors should not be used in combination with TNF-alpha blockers or JAK inhibitors. This is because such a combination may increase one's risk of infection. Deciding which biologic is right for you depends on a number of different factors, such as whether you have psoriasis and or other health conditions. It's important to see your rheumatologist for a full evaluation and discussion of these different treatment options. Many of these biologics have patient assistance programs to help you obtain these treatments at a lower cost, so please be sure to talk about this with your doctor. Once a decision is made, regular follow-up with your doctor will be important to monitor whether the biologic is working for you. For more information about treatments for psoriatic arthritis, especially the oral treatments, please check out our other video on oral treatments for psoriatic arthritis. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to learn more. This has been Dr. April Armstrong.